There was a group of adults who were taking a computer science course at a community college. And after a few weeks of classes, the professor decided to have some fun one day as a little learning activity. And he divided them by sex. And he put the men on one side of the room, women on the other side of the room. He said, I want you all to do a project for the next 10 minutes. And I want you to, de- to determine what gender computers ought to be. And so they deliberated, and so finally, here come the men, they have voted, they voted unanimously that computers should be referred to in the feminine gender. And so the professor said, all right, share with me your points. They had four points. They said, the reason why computers should be spoken of in the feminine gender is because no one but their creator understands their internal logic. (laughs) The second reason is because... (laughs) When computers communicate with each other, they speak in code language that only they and experts can understand. (laughs) The third reason is because every mistake you make is stored on their hard drive for later retrieval. (laughs) The fourth reason, these men said, because as soon as you commit to one, you find yourself spending half your paycheck on accessorizing it. Now... But oh, don't laugh too hard because the women, the women had the last word on this subject. The women voted unanimously. Computers must be in the masculine gender. Why? As they gave their report, they said, first of all, in order to get their attention, you have to turn them on. (laughs) Secondly, they have a lot of data but still can't think for themselves. (laughs) thirdly they're supposed to help you solve problems but half the time they are the problem (laughs) and the final reason they gave was because as soon as you commit to one you realize that if you'd waited a little longer you could have gotten a better model (laughs) 